Morning children, it's Tuesday and we have another day looking at the book A River. I hope you enjoy. Our focus on today's learning is all about verbs. Now, older children, you'll know that a verb is a doing word. It's a word that explains what's happening. And obviously, a lot of the verbs chosen in this story are about things moving, because you want to have that sense of things moving forward and the journey of the river. So I want you to watch through the film again, and this time pause and collect all the words that describe movement and all the verbs that you can find in the story. So, did you find the cars that zoomed by and the smoke rising into the air, machines grinding and tumbling down the waterfall? The author really thought about these words. He didn't just choose any words. He really wanted them to create a picture in your mind of the things that you were seeing. And that's what the really exciting bit is about writing is coming up with those words that really create those pictures in people's minds. So today we're going to focus on the fish picture because there's loads of movement in that. Like always when we're writing before we start we try and think of as many words as possible. So start by just looking at the picture and thinking about how the fish might move. Older children, you are really good at using thesauruses at school and you might have one at home. If not, there's an online thesaurus. Just put in some of your moving words and see what that comes up with. See if you can come up with a different way or some exciting words that you haven't used before to really challenge yourself with your writing. Now, once you've collected all your words, it's time to write some sentences. So again, this depends on how old you are. So the younger children, um, in reception, a sentence would be lovely. And the older children in year one and two, I think you could write several sentences together, really describing that scene and thinking about how the fish are moving around in the water. So really think about that in yours. And older children, um, this is really a chance to bring that to life. Lots of things um, that you've learned, lots of writing skills. Put it all together and really challenge yourself to try and describe everything that that picture shows in words. Now, the final part of the challenge, for those of you who have time to do it, this is an optional challenge, is how you can present your learning. And just to give you an idea, um, my bubble are going to write up their learning onto a fish and then we're going to hang them from the ceiling. So we're going to have them swimming around the classroom. And obviously you can't all do that, but that's just an idea of how you might present it if you wanted to. Lots of opportunity for artwork, hopefully, for those of you who enjoy that. And if you know, if you haven't got time and your families are busy, that's absolutely fine. If you've done your writing, that's brilliant. Well done.